as always, we've got merch for the channel. We have our nerd creative range and our stay creative range. Links in the description. Get whatever you want. Creatives, how are you? Welcome or welcome back to the Nerd Creative Channel. Fan building Robocop, building an icon. In this video, we'll be completing stage four of the build. Grab yourself a coffee, sit back, relax, and enjoy. With every uh, stage of the build, it comes with component parts and comes with magazines. These are the component parts for stage four. So let's have a look in the magazine. That's another, that's another picture of the poster um, when the film came out, and also the uh, the uh, it's like the the VHS cover, the DVD cover, the Blu-ray cover. Okay, the creators of RoboCop. Look at that. That's so good. And that that level, this is this is decades. A couple of decades, probably three decades, and maybe a couple decades before Iron Man, and this is what they were doing. Wow, so good. These are these are all our components in this. We're going to be building the right hand. There's a lot of fiddly, fiddly stuff going on there. So wait a sec, and then we've got another good shot there, and that's his hand. That's the hand we're going to be building. Tactile virtual reality. So good, so good these magazines. And uh, the Tesla suit glove. <laughs> that does look like Robocop's hand. Okay, so what I like to do is I just like to check that what it says we've got here, we have here. And we've got a lot in here. We've got a lot in here. This is going to be... Yeah, I hope they're all labelled. Because <laughs> I'm going to struggle if they're not labelled. So I'm probably going to have to lay them out in a specific way. Let's get the cardboard section off. Open the blister. I don't want anything. I don't want anything popping out. I'm going to use scissors just to release it. I can't have anything popping out of this. No way. Hold that down. Release. Yeah, you see that? See that? I think some stuff shifted. Some stuff. Oh, that's that's tight. That really is tight. Watch this. Whoa. Whoa. That was tough. Now, I don't... Yeah, something did shift. I'm not happy about that. Hopefully that goes in there. So, let's have a look. This is going to be interesting. I hope everything's labelled. Let me just check if they are labelled. Oh, that, that is metal. Let's check in. Let's check if they're labelled. Yeah, that's just as R for right hand. It's not actually labelled, so I've got to. I've got to kind of guess. So put that there. And this one with the holes in it goes there. I'm just laying it out as they've laid it out because there's so much, so much in here. And we've got a couple of, yeah, here, these tabs. 
and then we've got a load of fingers so the thumb piece marked one i hope they are labeled yeah they are they've got numbers on the back of them so that's number one uh number two so index mark two yeah so i think these are the ones up here i'm thinking let's see just tilting it to the light so there's one two three four five so let's get the screws out and there's some tiny springs in really tiny springs in there oh this is going to be fun okay so i'm looking for all the ones I'm just going to take this out and just look at it, see what it says. Yep, that's a one. That is a one. So if I lay them out, one, two, three, four, five. So this is at the bottom there. I don't see a number on there. I think it's down there. Yep, that's one. There. So there's three there's three elements to each part of the hand. So just checking where they've numbered it. I can't see in there. I can't see in there at all. I'll turn it to the light. I can see there. Let's turn it to the light on that side. I'm assuming I'll just assume that's one. So that's one. One, two, three. It's got I've got another one here. See what that says. That's two. So that's two. Uh, so there's yeah, there's four in this section. So that I'd say that goes there. I'm hoping yeah, that goes there. This is quite yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna do this off camera because it's gonna take me ages. Yeah, so I've, I've I've laid them all out over here. I've got all the springs here, so I'm going to put them together. So the first thing we're going to do is we get these two, these two fingertip pieces, and we just push them together. I don't think they're the same. I knocked all. I knocked. I knocked them all. So I've got got a bit of a problem. I did not the tips and everything. So that might not be the right one. Checking. Yeah, they're not the same size, and I think they're supposed to be. Oh, maybe I can't get it out now. That's weird. There we go. So what I'm going to have to do is, I'm just going to have to measure. I think that might be it there. I knocked them all when they were on the, on the mat. I can't believe I did that. That's weird, they don't go in. Yeah, that might be right, might not be right, let me see in the picture. Yeah, once it's in, it's really difficult to get out again. I'll just try this first one. It's very difficult to get in place. I'm trying to push them in, but... Yeah. There we go. Got a bit of pressure like that there. A bit more. 
that's that's the that's the thumb start of the thumb and then what we've got to do is we've got to push it through here and line up the hole so yeah that looks like it there there's only one way it goes in there so there line up the hole like that there and we're going to push a spring through there and a screw and we've got to use an rp screw i i, I did the screws uh, off camera when i was laying out all of them so i'm going to get one screw this is going to be tricky tricky So, I'm going to put a spring on the screw, like that, and I'm going to push it through the hole. I didn't think it would, it would go as easy as that. Let me just hold these together, push the screw and the spring in. Yeah, that would happen. It's not. Yeah. It only goes one way. And that's it there. It goes that way. So I need to. Um, so it says um, insert the tip of F4 in the line. Insert the spring and then the screw. Right, let's try it that way. So I'm going to put the spring in first. Although I might not be able to separate those two now. <laughs> so I'll try it. Yeah, there's a hole that goes all the way through. Just checking if it's this which side. Yeah, it's saying this side. It goes this side. Right. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to insert a spring through it first, and just see if that's better. No, the spring doesn't stay in either. Yeah, it's really fiddly. really fiddly. So I'm going to try the spring and the screw together like that. I just need to hold these tight. No, that doesn't want to go in at all. It does not want to go in at all. Yeah, so I've got the I've got the thumb done here. See it there? That's the thumb. Uh, like that. It's really fiddly. So I'm going to do the next finger, which is the index finger. So I'm going to put these two pieces together to line them up. this in here yeah making sure it's the right way around turn it over like that I'm gonna do the spring screw thing again which is it ain't easy but I found it a little bit easier with this small screwdriver that this one here that it came with so I'm gonna 
have a go on camera. If not, I'll have to do it off camera because it's it's really fiddly. That's it in. I just need to screw it out. There. That finger there. And then we've got to add an extra piece. that piece oh yeah then we put the top on so there's two pieces for this three pieces for this okay then we go do another spring look out which way it goes I think it's there and that would go like that there. just lay that down let's load up a screw and a spring Another RP screw. I dropped one of my springs on the floor. Now I'm hoping they give me extra. <laughs> so load these together like that. Get the yeah, there's a reason why they sent a tiny screwdriver. Now That doesn't want to go in there. I'm pushing, I'm pushing. That's it's like it's not properly lined up. We just, yeah. Yeah, it's in now. Yeah, it's in here at Crunch. Lift it up. I don't think I'll be able to do this on camera because I. There we go. There we go. That's the finger there. Okay, so I'll just put that beside the thumb and we'll go for the next. And the next one is the middle finger. And that's three pieces pretty much as well. So I'm just going to put these on. Push. Get that fingertip in place. Uh, that's that fingertip in place. And same again. So we'll just make sure we've got it lined up the right way. I'm just going to turn it around. Yep, that's the right way there. Think like that. Turn it around. Don't think. It's quite difficult to know which is the right right way around. No, I think it goes that way. Yeah, I think it goes like that. A little bit of a, a little bit of a gap. Yeah. Still a little bit of a gap. Okay. Let's check. Yeah. Just gonna lie this down. spring
get another RP screw, load it onto the spring. Onto the tiny screwdriver. And then just line these two up. Yeah, once you get the knack, it kind of it's kind of straightforward. Again, and just tighten it. That's quite loose, that's coming out. <laughs> one oh no I put the wrong one on <laughs> can't believe I did that nope that's wrong no 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 this is supposed to go next uh, Oh, that's on. Yeah, that's on. Let's load up another screw and spring. Probably gonna have to go hunting on my hands and knees if if they give me just enough springs. So there's a spring over there. Hoping they'd give me an extra one or two. In case one springs away. Okay, like that. Line this up, which I think it's that way. Like that, yeah. And light flat. finger done right the next one this is the tip of the finger this one is called the ring finger of course of course it's the ring finger piece is this. Got the right piece this time. Okay, so that goes there. Yep, that fits. Get another RP screw and a spring and load them together. Like that. Load it onto the tiny screwdriver. And then and then once it's there, start tightening. Right. 
Let's see if that works. Yep. And we get the next part. Let's lay that down. That. Get another RP screw and load it onto the spring again. That, load it onto the little screwdriver. It will be quite forceful with this part. So if you don't push it in, the spring starts to bend and it won't go into the hole. Although it's got the screw to reinforce it, but it's only connected by a magnet, you know what I mean? onto the screwdriver so there we go that's our that's our ring finger there and we've got our last one finger tips thought this would actually be a bit more complicated than it is but let's just This is the next part. Okay. So that goes on there like that. Another RP screw. Yeah, yeah I think we're gonna run out of springs. I'm gonna have to find that other spring. Because <laughs> we've we've got just enough. Which is not great. Because I've got I've got two springs over there, and I need two here and two on the other mm -hmm. part. Yeah. Uh, no, do I? No, one, two. No, I think I've got extra springs here. Yeah, I think I've got extra springs, I think. And yeah, I think I've got enough. So, where's that hole? Yeah, the hole's on that side. Uh, Yeah, I think that it gives us a couple of extra springs, which is really good. In case you lose one like I did. So it looks like they give you a couple of extra springs. How does that bend? Okay, it bends like that. Okay. Yeah, that looks right. So you turn it over. So we've got we've got a couple of extra screws and a couple of extra springs, which for me is really good. Although I've lost one of my screws, springs. Sorry, I've lost one of my springs on the floor. Okay. There we go. There. So just need to. Oh. And this is the little finger they call it, pinky finger. This is not a cartoon character, so he's got five fingers. Let's test it. Uh, yep, that works. Okay, that's the fingers done. So we get this piece, which is 4A, which is the palm. We turn it over like that, and then we get these two. Um, these two, what are they called? Um, ring finger, little finger. No, no, that's not. 4D is uh, wrist joints. Yeah, the wrist joints. So 
we we have it like that so the that circle that semicircle is at the top like that and then we position this so we put them together there's there's holes there and then we put it in the I think it goes in this top part here we'll just put one like that there goes there that goes on top and then we put we use two BM screws to position that because it's the wrist so I'm assuming it's the top because it's the wrist so I'm going to use this tiny screwdriver again because it seems to work out for me so we just need to I'm not going to put it all in, I'm just going to get it in position so I can get this second one in, which goes in there. And this one I am going to tighten all the way. the other one as well and you know you've got it in right because it sits flush with there see it sits flush with that that part there we've got to position all these in now so we'll get the thumb in there then the index finger which is this and that the middle the middle finger in that the ring finger make sure I got that right yep because that's the palm so they, they need to be going like that, that way, and not that way, because that's the palm. And then the, the little finger in there, like that. Let's just pull it into shot there. And then we get this piece, which is the back of the hand, and It'll slot over all of these. Oops, that fell out. Like that. And that goes together with two BM screws. And it's these two lower ones here. Oh, that's not finding the hole. This side, yeah. Hey, what's going on? Tighten the 
this one up now. Although I can't see it, there it is. That's the palm, and then that's our fingers. Hold his hand like that there as if, as if he's holding a gun. Fingers like that there. And then lastly, we've just got to put the back of the, the hand on. And that's magnetic. Let's see. We're in position 4C, which is attached with a magnet and can be removed. The hand is now ready. So let's just line that up. There. Oh, wow. Let me zoom out a bit. Oh wow, that's so good. Yeah, that's Robocop's hand. Robocop's right hand. Wow. Let's zoom out a bit. So that's what we're looking for at the end which is Robocop's right hand. And that completes stage four of the build. And we'll have to build another one of these, of course, but now that I've built one, I should have no problem. Look at that, wow. I'd like to thank for your company. I'll see you in the next video. Stay creative.